I, I would like to welcome y'all to the scumbag era. Um, that basically is just me saying that I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna do what I want to do. Um, play the games I want to play, which is what I've been doing this entire time. But I've always tried to make things enjoyable to an audience that doesn't exist. And I'm kind of done doing that. I like I like making these videos. I like editing these videos. I'm just gonna do this for me. So effectively, I'm not like worried about what YouTube considers like advertiser friendly because I'm not I'm not getting ads anyway, and I'll probably never be able to. So here's the deal: if you like what I do, leave a comment, subscribe, maybe share it with somebody else that you might think is good. If you don't like it, fuck it. Go ahead, and tell me that you don't like what I'm doing. Yes, I'm not supposed to swear in the first minute, but I don't care. No ads, and that's kind of the plus side to this channel. I can I'm effectively wild wild westing it. I can do it do whatever I want. I hope you enjoy the show. Peace out. Oh, oh, but I do. Oh, I should take a break. Um, welcome back to Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door for the Nintendo Swatch. We are officially starting Chapter One. Pitol my dogs. Pitol my dogs. Um. What? What you got? Oh, no. Uh. My ears are too. Oh. Well, here we are. Well, here we are at the Petal Meadows, where folks say a crystal star, crystal star hides. Ooh. Woohoo! Woohoo! Here we go, Mario. The start of our adventure. This is completely awesome. I am going to assume that you, you have are... the energy, just not in the right spot. Really? Mm -hmm. Like not even close? More of a object than the uh, location. Mm. So like I was like knocking down the flowers. Ah, uh, that's Ah, I know the name of that dragon. It's crack something or something cracking, or crack uh, crackle, Cr something. It's something like that. What was that? I've never seen anything that humongous before. It looked kind of scary too. It definitely flew into that castle back there, right? Let's get going in case it comes back. Here we go again. No, it was the the trees. Oh, Jesus. I like how you let me walk off. Oh, he's behind. Uh, I mean, she... You're behind. Never mind. It's fine. Mm. A plateau surrounded by hills to the far east of Rogue for it. Get off my controller. It's mild and pleasant here all year round. I love it. Doesn't it feel nice? Oh, hey, and Mario, if you hit a tree sometimes, you... shut up. I know they came out of left field, but I meant it. You, if you see suspicious free, smack it. Mm. Kind of reminds me of a pipe. Mm -mm. It does, doesn't it? I'm beating you because you're sorry. You're blinking, and it's weird. Mm. Cause like in the in the other game there was a state there was an area like this where you had to um you had to like that's where you got the dude who could uh, ride the uh you could ride his cloud. Doing so good. Everyone be proud of me. That's a bad. But Mario is at five HP or below. Foles will sometimes miss. Okay. 
That's neat. I'm basically a Goomba with wings. I'm jealous. You can't hammer it while it's flying, uh, but a rough it up with a jump and it'll totally plummet. If it loses its wings, it doesn't become a regular Goomba for the rest of his life. No one ever talks about this. Because I don't remember I uh, like how that goes down. Because I, I think uh, in, in Super Mario World, if I'm not mistaken, there are certain enemies that have wings. And if I'm not mistaken, you could like, Cause I think they're like, you know, pair like, uh, paratroopers, paracoopa troopers, parada troopa. That if you uh, well, that if you jumped on their uh, jumped on them while they hit wings, like the wings would just fall off. Yeah, they just kind of like popped off when they were a regular old uh, enemy. Mm. That's a Goomba. Um, yeah, I'm one of those in case you hadn't noticed. Ahem, it said here, this here, Goombas are underlings of underlings. No standout features to note. That's totally rude. Oh, I kind of get the underling thing now. Uh -huh. Do you? I don't know. Not quite sure what's in here, but I'm going to find out. I don't think you can reach that yet. No, I think I either got to get like the, uh, the, 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 fl the fly guy or the, or the shell guy. Oh, one more thing, Mario. If, if you ever find yourself wondering what to do, just press ZL to ask for a hint. I'm full of good ideas, you know. Yes, you are a girl, aren't you? Just for anybody, anybody who's fucking curious, I got do intend to like do a lot of battling. <laughs> if I'm not that's, mistaken, that's I think as I think in certain games, like even her tattle ability required fucking uh FP, or it might not have. I don't remember. That's a spiky Goomba with a spiky headed, a spiky headed Goomba. What a creative name. That's a spiky Goomba. Uh, I, I, I fucked it up, but I understood how I was supposed to say that. That's a spiky Goomba. What, <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get it. Shut up! I guess that spike helps boost its attack compared to the average Goomba. The addition of the spike means you'll need you'll hurt your feet if you jump on it. Duh. Well, first off, no one... Oh, fucking hell. Oh, fucking hell. You just imagine a dude walking up to you and hitting you in the head with a hammer and then fucking doing a backflip to celebrate his uh his achievements. Almost leveled up, yo. Oh we did level up. So I can't do math. Level up your Mario. Level him up, baby. Level me to my baby. <laughs> Fuck yeah, bro. The thing is, I'd use my star, my star abilities more often, my special abilities more often. The thing is, I don't really have a need to use them yet. Well, that was, that was luck, I guess. So that made it look like I knew what the fuck I was doing. 
And I didn't. <laughs> It wasn't just a bridge. It was an elaborate bridge. Continue to the right. I didn't think I could jump over that. Uh... Oh, hmm. that's not a okay. Well, to be fair, I would have seen it. Hmm. Yeah, it just would have been. Yeah, oh, I have to go all the way back here. Man. Like this right here, though. I thought this was a gap between these two hills. I thought this was in the background. The thing I'm standing, I thought that was in the background. And I thought I wouldn't be able to jump. Because mm. as you can see, I can't make that jump. Mm. So I thought I would just fall between the I two. Uh, yeah. Oh, look at this little guy. Okay. Bettelberg. Bettelberg. Welcome, travelers. Hmm, where are you, you ask? Why, this is Bettelberg. Sorry, but it's been a long time since we've had visitors here. Yippity. Yippity. Hooktail. Fuck my ass. Hooktail. I knew the name of that fucking dragon. Hooktail. Ah, oh. I think I'm thinking of the dragon, the dragon from a uh, Super Paper Mario. Hey, while while you're doing that, look up the dragon boss from Super Paper Mario and tell me what its name was. Was spotted flying around this area. Well, it, well, it. Uh, I fucking I don't, I, remember, I don't remember what voice I gave him. Well, it didn't help. It didn't help tourism. Put that. Put it that way. People just stopped visiting. Dragon. Hooktail? I, I I said Crack was in his name. I could not remember what the fuck his name was. I got the two dragons confused. They look very similar. The one in Super Paper Mario, I think, if, not, if I'm not mistaken, was a fucking robot. Mm. Dragon? Hooktail? That gigantic robot and dragon. Told y'all. I I, I'm telling y'all. I've been here. I do this. Mm. Don't nobody believe me. Yeah. Yeah. That must have been the huge flying thing we saw earlier, Mario. So it's called Hooktail? Hmm. Oh, scary name. <laughs> By the way, Green Boot, have you ever heard of these things called Crystal Stars? We're on this quest to find them. Very important. Crystal Stars, you say? Crystal Stars, you say? Hmm. Nope. Can't say that I have. Sorry about that. You may want to speak with the mayor, though. He's old. Really old. Mm hmm. Uh, as such, he knows all kinds of stuff. Koopas of his age are... Really smart. Anyway, the mayor lives in that pink house up ahead. A pink house? Sounds totally hideous. But it should be easy to find. Thanks for your help. You didn't need to say that, sweetheart. Like, it wasn't relative to his life that, that you let him know that you thought the concept of his house being pink was ugly. He didn't care. Well, of course I'm going to talk to you. Ah, bonjour, mademoiselle. Isn't it a beautiful day? No, 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 no. Not you, monsieur. Dear montage. I am speaking to the lovely little cabos behind you. Mon petit show. Do you hear me, beautiful? Abandon this dull old and come away with me. Ew, are you kidding? Ew! Nice wig, you disco wannabe. Take a hike, bozo the chump. Oh, oh, oh. Je suis bel I don't know what that word is. I wound them. Such brutal honesty. Such a sharp tongue. I shall retreat for now. If you change your mind, come and find me. What a total sleaze. Mario, let's go somewhere else. Tell me about him. Ew! What's with this guy, huh? It grosses me out. It grosses me out just being near this weirdo. All right, fine, whatever. His name is Dupree. He is the icky guy who tries to sweet talk everybody. There, no more. <laughs> like, all right, bitch. I get it. What up, dog? Sorry. 
What's up? Hey, no, that's I'm... just what he said when you were walking. Oh. I am General White. I am a bob bob. And I have lost my hopes and dreams. I live in solitude always. I must apologize, but I ask that you leave me alone. Leave me alone, I'm sad and ugly. Mm -hmm. Bruh, you wanna, um, you wanna talk about this? You wanna talk about any of this? Hey, keep your hands to yourself in here. Basically everything in this room is a one of a kind collectible. Oh, most of this shit's... This guy is apparently a total diehard peach fan. He even collects peach merchandise. Well, yeah. He has posters and merch displayed everywhere. Boy, you know life. You know what I mean? I, uh... I... I, uh... I don't want to talk about that part of the... Of his fandom. <laughs> hey, Mario. Don't tell me you have a secret collection of plush peach dolls, too. I don't. I, I dicked down the real thing, I'm sorry to say. Oh, he was upset. Yes, his, because I was hitting you. When you his hit. peach shit, yeah. Yeah. Hey, you really didn't like that. Mm. No! I don't lie to you. If somebody came to my house and started hitting my fucking toys with a hammer, I'd be mad, too. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be so coy about it, though. I wouldn't be like, oh, no. Oh, no. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, uh, yeah. That, that, like, he's also hitting stuff with a fucking hammer. So I'd probably be, like, kind of concerned that he'd bite bash me with a hammer. Tis I, Bulber. I am happy as I can be. I am as happy as I can be. Why? Simply because I'm surrounded by flowers. You are a flower, you fuck. No, he's not a flower. He just has a flower on his, on his head. That's Bul... Bulubler. Bulubler. That's his name. Bu -bu -bu it's like a bomb. bomb It's a, it's a bu Bulber? Bub bu Bulber. Oh my god, that fucking show. Doesn't it kind of weird you out to see a talking flower? I mean, where's his head? Is it the flower part or is it the bulb part? Mm. Again, I really hope you aren't saying these things out loud. There's no need for you to be crass, rude, and Thank mouth. Hey, what's up? I gotta say, I've been playing a lot of GBA games lately. <laughs> There's this one game that fucked me in the ass. There's this one game get out of here. that I can't even get through this sentence. There's this one game that just absolutely rules. It's called Fire Emblem. Have you ever heard of it? Man, it rocks my socks. Get away from me. Because what's of this? people like you that we have like 30 fucking Fire Emblem characters in <laughs> Smash. Smash. Jesus Christ. Was that in the original game? Like, seriously. <laughs> I don't remember. This kid sure is a fanatic. All he talks about is video games. You notice that? I wonder if he's finished his homework for today. You know, homework's important too. You have bad hand eye coordination. That's why you're a hater. <laughs> That's a bubbler. Oh, when they said pink house, they fucking meant pink house. <laughs> You got hurdle, this hurdly leaf, a, a leaf found in Petalburg. This, is this the game that has like a uh, a cook in it? Is this the game with taste tea, or is that Super Paper Mario? What this turtle is? Colors. That's a colored turtle. Oh, what's that? Somewhat like you know what? My mom's old, and like I like old people don't really sound like this here. A lot of them don't. Not until they get there, like, they're fucking 90s. But, anyway. Hmm, what's that? Tasty isn't super. Oh, that was right, okay. Yeah, that's, that's a, that's, like, no. We, we, when I play Super Paper Mario, and believe me, I'm gonna play Super Paper Mario, that game's awesome. I ain't doing that shit. Gerard did it, and there was no point to it whatsoever. Like, it, it was, it, it's a waste of time. You don't even get anything useful out of it. It is a waste of fucking time. What's that? Someone there? Who is it? Who? What do you want from me? I'm scared and old. I'll hit you with this stick. Yes, I will. You know, you, you know, 
You I know your thieves here to do, to do a rob on a defenseless old Koopa. Despicable. No, not me. Mario, you fucking blind. Go on, do what you will. But as you can plainly see, there's nothing to steal here. Oh, I guess I have a little money. Take it, you fiend. And my antique shell, too. Just leave the photos of me and the missus. I can't do without those memories. What? Not they used to say. Well, what's your story, then? Oh, wait. You folks looking for crystal stars? How'd you know? Well, why didn't you pipe up before, you idiot? Called me an idiot. He called me an idiot. Like, you said he called me an idiot. I kind of want to hit him now. Like, you, like, you know my, my history with turtles ain't great, right? Mm. <laughs> We're just wasting time. Yeah, just waste We're just wasting time here. The crystal stars, you say, you're hunting. Mm. Wait. What did I hear about those dang things again? Aha, I got it. Hooktail! Hooktail's got what you're looking for. She's this enormous, ornery dragon. Eat folks, they say. You know Hooktail, right? Mm-hmm. Well, this Hooktail's brutally, brutal fly-by snacking have all of us on pins and needles, I say. Needles and pins. Pins and, pins and, and whatever now. So, are you reckless fools to me? Are you gallant heroes off to rough her up? Yes. Yes, I am, because I intend to move the game forward. Oh, ho. sounds promising. Why, if you can rid us of a hook tail, we'll shower you with gratitude and reward. Wait, what's that I hear? You'll accept no reward? I did not say that. <laughs> what an unselfish man. You're noble indeed. Yep, a good egg. Now, did you say your name? What did you say your name was again? Mario. Murphy. That's a fine name. Yes, a fine name. Indeed. Well, now. Murphy Lee. <laughs> Low battery. What are you fucking talking about? I don't charge this battery ever. I appreciate that, Murphy. <laughs> they are nice eyebrows. <laughs> I appreciate that, that, Murphy. They are nice eyebrows. Now, listen up. If you're intent on going going to Hooktail Castle, find the secret pipe that's located somewhere in Petal Meadow. I know you need the sun... I oh, oh no, okay. I know you need the sunstone and the moonstone to use that pipe. The, the stones are somewhere in Schwank Forest. Just past the village. Schwank. Get them first. Somebody didn't give a fuck. <laughs> well then, Murphy, get going. And really wallop that hook tail monster. Wallop that bitch. Wallop her. Wallop her. Wallop her but good Murphy. Oh, M Murphy. Murphy, baby. Murphy, my baby. All right, there's stuff going on here. There are people to talk to. Um, there's clearly a dude. Uh, what's, what's happening here? Hey, hey, hey! It's us, the Happy Wanderers! The Traveling Sisters 3! This village is famous for its clear water, clean air, and one more thing. That big bad hotel. We can't wait to see her! Oh, that was it. Who are these bitches? These are the Traveling Sisters 3. They seem to go everywhere together. Oh, I forgot. They also seem inattentive. Do they even notice... Each new place they wind up in, inattentive. Like these, these, these sluts <laughs> piss me off. Some stone monsters these live at. Some stone monsters live at Schwank Fort Fortress, not forest. Fortress. Sorry, up ahead. So we fear this gate is here to keep them out. So out of fear, this gate is here. I think that's what he said. But if the mayor says it's okay, I'll let you pass. Careful out there, though. Um, excuse me. Um, I beg your pardon. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a moment, please. Oh, it's Coops. Is that Coops? I might not be Coops. Pardon for pardon me for yelling like that. I was panicking. Um, uh, how to begin? My name is Coops. Hi, it is Coops. I heard you're traveling to Hooktail's castle. I uh, I have a favor to ask. Can I come with you? Um, uh, just, 
Just forget it. Never mind. Ignore me. Good goodbye. Oh, well, he's us, isn't he? Okay, that was weird. What do you think was going on inside of that guy's shell? Where'd he go? He left. He left for real. For real, for real. I'm gonna talk to everybody here in the episode. Well, hello there. My name is Kubi Koo. It's nice to meet you. Oh my gosh, that hat, those overalls, and that magnificent mustache. You're Mario, aren't you? Yes, bitch. I've heard the tales of how strong you are. If you're here, that means you're going to challenge that monstrous hook tail. If only Koops were as brave as you. I let him pound my turtle pooch. Why is this here? What is this? What is happening? Oh, hello. Um, look, I... Listen, just forget that whole scene I made earlier. Okay? It, it was nothing. I was just fooling around or something. Mm. Tell us about him. That's Coops from Pedalburg. He's got confidence issues. He's a, a cringer, you know? But he's definitely got a serious interest in Hooktail. I wonder why. Honestly, dude, I didn't see you down here. Like, I came in your house, and I did not see you standing there. I hear there's a scary monster. I'm not doing what I, I, no. I hear there's a scary monster that lives near, near town. Normal attacks are completely useless against it. Oh, and that's not all. Fire attacks are also useless. The very idea freaks me out. What can I do if one attacks me? I wonder if the shop has a way for me to throw money at the problem. Hmm. Is that a hint? That's a toad from Pedalburg. He just seems like a regular toad to me. But I hear he leads a secret life as president of the Luigi fan club. You might be sick in the head. Hmm. Hey, kiddo. You need something from me? Uh, no. Gotcha. Actually, yeah, I do. What are the secrets of battle? What do you want to know? Jesus tap dancing Christ. Jesus Christ. Oh boy. If you think for a half a second. What is the bingo thing? Did you know that when you hit an action command, a symbol appears at the top right of the screen? So if you get a couple of matching symbols and then hit a third action command, you might hit it big. Press A at the right moment and stop the wheel so that you get all three in a row and you'll win a cool effect. Mushroom heal for your HP, flowers restore your FP, stars fill up your star power to the max. Shine sprites are the big prize. They restore everything. Oh, and three in a row brings a crowd for the a crowd for the audience. Brings in a crowd for the audience, so you'll make extra star power for a while. Oh, but three poison mushrooms in a in a row, and you'll lose a bunch of HP, FP, star power, and crowd size. So watch it. Mm. Like I can't tell y'all. Like no, I, I can almost promise y'all that I'm never gonna read all of those on camera or off. Mm -hmm. What up? Who this? Who you? Hey, since you're here, let me ask. How many people do you think Hooktail's gobbled? All the time. I mean, I heard... I mean, I heard she recently lunched on an old man, uh, Scoo... On old man Scoo two villages over. And Coops, who lives next... Who lives next door? His father went off to battle Hooktail ages ago. He's been a missing person. No, wait, that's not right. A missing Koopa ever since. That's to that's toasty. Toast. T. Fuck off. A toad from Petalburg. She seems really huffy about something. She sure does keep a straight face, though. I guess she's a pretty tough cookie. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of that was the f end of the first week of Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door for the Nintendo Switch. Everybody's excited to see it. Everybody's excited. I'm excited. You're excited. Mark is excited. Mark has gas, so he can't get too excited. Or he'll explode. Uh, hopefully, mm -hmm. hopefully something about this is fun for you in some capacity. 
and you're like, hey, I'm loving it. Keep it, keep it going, because I'm gonna. I've never, I've, I've played a lot of this game. I played pretty far into it before, never actually finished it. So I am looking, uh, looking to, looking forward to actually finishing this bad boy. Uh, but that won't be tonight. Until next time, get out.